Certainly. Cancer stem cells, also known as tumor-initiating cells, are a small subpopulation of cells within a tumor that have the ability to self-renew and differentiate into various types of cancer cells. These cells are thought to be responsible for the initiation, growth, and recurrence of many types of cancers and are an important target for cancer therapy. Here are some key facts about cancer stem cells that have been published in scientific literature. Cancer stem cells were first identified in 1997 in leukemia by Dr. John Dick and his team. They discovered that only a small subset of cells within the leukemia were capable of initiating and maintaining the disease in mice 1. Cancer stem cells have since been identified in many other types of cancers, including breast cancer, brain cancer, colon cancer, pancreatic cancer, and more too. Cancer stem cells are characterized by specific markers on their surface that allow them to be distinguished from other cells in the tumor. For example, in breast cancer, the marker CD44 plus CD24 is commonly used to identify cancer stem cells 3. Cancer stem cells are resistant to many conventional cancer therapies, including chemotherapy and radiation. This is thought to be due to their ability to repair DNA damage and their relative quiescence 4. Cancer stem cells are also thought to be responsible for the metastases of many types of cancers. These cells are able to leave the primary tumor, enter the bloodstream or lymphatic system, and establish new tumors in distant organs 5. There are several strategies being explored to target cancer stem cells. One approach is to develop drugs that specifically target the unique properties of these cells, such as their ability to self-renew or their resistance to chemotherapy. Another approach is to use immunotherapy to target the markers on the surface of cancer stem cell 6. In conclusion, cancer stem cells are a small but important subset of cells within a tumor that have the ability to initiate and maintain cancer. They are resistant to many conventional cancer therapies and are responsible for the metastases of many types of cancers. However, there are promising strategies being developed to target these cells and improve cancer treatment outcomes. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.